And now to a troubling sight along the expressway in Northbrook. Commuters heading home last night on the Eden Spur were alarmed to see a billboard with hateful and threatening remarks against Israel. The boards were anti-Semitic, even one was obscene, and an investigation is now underway. NBC 5's Courtney Sisk has been following this all day. Courtney, we've never really seen something like this happen before. So how did this happen? Do we have any clue? Yeah, this is certainly bizarre. And I did reach out to Outpost. That's the company that owns and operates these billboards. They tell me they're taking the matter very seriously. Um, and the statements and the billboard were not approved or condoned by them or their advertisers. They reached out to national authorities and told the Jewish United Fund they believe they were hacked. We spoke with a community member about the harmful messaging today. It's disgusting, it's outrageous, it's a punch in the gut. U.S. Representative Brad Schneider fielded dozens of calls for concern Wednesday night after people passing through Northbrook saw these billboards calling for violence against Israel. There's a combination of, of anger and, and hurt. The billboard is now turned off Thursday while an investigation ensues, but the messaging lives fresh in community members' minds. It kind of made a hole in the pit of my stomach because I couldn't believe that a message like that was so visible, um, especially in the place where it was. Debbie saw the billboards message last night. She says while it was harmful enough to read, it's the location that makes her feel targeted. This community in Deerfield, borderline Northbrook, is a predominantly Jewish area in the North Shore. How do you explain that to younger children? Um, so that sign was visible. Um, you know, somebody that's 13 or 14 year olds that sees that, they're going to know. They're going to ask questions. Um, and it breaks my heart. Representatives from the Anti Defamation League agree and say the location goes beyond just criticizing Israel, but takes aim at Jewish people in the suburbs, calling it anti Semitic. It wasn't randomly targeted, it is in the heart of a Jewish community. It is on the way home for many Jewish commuters who go down to the city. The ADL reports that anti-Semitism has been on the rise since the attack on Israel by terrorist organization Hamas on October 7th, 2023. 1,200 people were killed that day. The U.S. Department of State says anti-Semitism can manifest in many ways, including calling for or justifying the killing or harming of Jews and holding Jews collectively responsible for actions of the state of Israel. The Northbrook Village Board says they condemn anti-Semitism and all acts of hate speech. An investigation is still underway about how someone was able to change the message on the billboard. And coming up at 6, we'll talk about the greater implications that this has and also the rise of anti-Semitism in Illinois. All right. Very important topic to discuss. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Courtney.